we ended the previous lecture with uh, the idea that very few uh, limit state probabilities can be solved in closed form uh, so there was a need for approximate solutions and today we take up uh, a very elegant method of an approximate solution which have come to be known as uh, first order reliability methods so let's um, let's set the stage for that uh, we are discussing in this part of the course uh, a component reliability a component reliability which uh, is based on uh, physics of failure so we have one failure element which is tagged by uh, the location or the identity x and uh, we therefore suppress the reference to x and uh, we look at uh, the safety margin m as a function of time and um, in general this safety margin is a function of capacity type and demand type random variables um, and those in turn c and d in turn are composed of uh, other basic variables uh, x sub c and x sub d so together we call them the set of basic variables x so uh, we could express the safety margin m in terms of a function g of the basic variables now uh, we are restricting ourselves uh, to time invariant basic variables for now uh, and so the problem simplifies to a limit state equation gx equal to zero such that gx negative implies failure and gx zero or positive uh, implies a safe situation and what we are interested in is the probability that the basic variable uh, is outside uh, the safe set so the probability content of the basic variable space which come under the unsafe set Now, uh, in two dimension, this would be the representation uh, of the problem, the, the safe set versus the failed set. And this is uh, just copying the equation from the previous slide. This is what we are interested in. Uh, in general, x is a, an n-dimensional vector. Now, um, obviously, we have discussed this. Uh, G doesn't have to be a linear function of the axis. So, uh, we might as well bring in a clearly nonlinear looking function and let us say this is uh, the uh, shape of our uh, limit state equation and that separates the space of basic variables into safe and failed regions. So uh, in form in FORM uh, the idea is uh, to map the basic variables into another space of variables y and let us say that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between x and y so y uh, is tx where t is the transformation and x is the inverse map from y so these functions are very well defined uh, in that case the region any region rx would uh, map to a corresponding region ry from x to y and the probability content of the region Rx would equal, we have discussed this when we discussed joint distributions, would equal uh, the probability content of the region Ry. So that is a, a key element there. So which basically means that the failure probability uh, would be, whereas in the basic variable space we were trying to find the probability that x belonged uh, to Rx, let us say Rx is the failure region, then equivalently we can find out uh, the probability content that y belongs to ry and why would we do that obviously uh, if that computation or that estimation of the failure probability in y space is considerably simpler uh, that would be uh, an inducement uh, of doing such an exercise so uh, so two key questions come here one is 
So what uh, sort of property should Y have? Where do we want to map from the basic variable space uh, to this new space? And what sort of map should we try for? Um, so these are the, the two key questions uh, that we are going to answer next.